Today I'm going to talk about child support. Two things that you need to know if you're paying child support or hoping to collect child support. My name is Laura D. Hurd and I practice family law in San Antonio, Texas. Beginning September 1st, 2021, our laws are changing regarding standard child support for low income earners. Now, our laws have not changed in over 30 years regarding the percentages on standard child support. If you have one child that you're paying child support for, it's been 20% of your net income. If you have two children that you're paying child support for, then 25% of your net income. But beginning September 1st, 2021, if you make less than $1,000 a month, then it's going to only be 15% for one child and 25% for two children. This will make a difference, say if you're, if you're making just under $1,000 a month and you were paying standard child support for one child, um, then um, under the new law, you'll be paying about $50 a month less. However, it's not automatic. If your order is already in place, you'd have to get a new order to change the prior order in order to change the amount of child support. But if it's a new case and it's never been ordered before, that's the new standard that the judges are going to look at. The second thing that I wanted to talk to you about on child support is that if there is a prior order in place and you file for divorce, it is very important that you let your attorney know that there is a prior order for child support. And it may be that you weren't even realizing that there was an order in place if you didn't actually go to court. But if you've dealt with the Attorney General on child support, and if you have a withholding order where child support is being automatically withdrawn from the paycheck, chances are there's an order in place that orders that child support. And it is important because we have a rule called continuing exclusive jurisdiction. That means that no other court has the power to change that prior child support order unless you transfer the case to the new court. So if you were in Bear County, Texas, and the old order was entered, and the new order um, is put in place, and it's still in Bear County, Texas, you're probably okay, but it still needs to reference the old order in your new uh, petition. However, if you were moved from another county or another state, then if you enter a new order for child support here without transferring the case first, that means that the new order is void. This court had no power to change the prior order. So you need to make sure your attorney knows about the prior order so that they can get the case transferred before they enter a new order. If you need more information on child support, look me up. My website is www.ldherd, and that's L, D as in Delta, H-E-A-R-D dot com. You can leave me a message on my website or call me at 210-655-9090.